I'm Velva Buckingham. Um, this is my farm here at Promise City, Iowa. Uh, me and my husband have a small cow-calf herd, a fall calving herd, um, 40, 45 cows. Um, we have two children, um, two boys, and um, I work full-time for the Iowa Department of Ag and Land Stewardship, the Division of Soil Conservation and Water Quality. I'm an environmental specialist for them. Um, I work out of the Wayne County Soil and Water Conservation District, um, and what I do is basically I'm a watershed coordinator for them. Um, I work uh, with landowners in the Rathbun watershed to try to help them um, to do practices on their farm, to help protect their farm, as well as protect Rathbun Lake. That's kind of our overall goal is to try to keep the sediment and phosphorus out of Rathbun Lake. For the most part, we, we go out and look at their farms with them. Um, generally, landowners come to us with problems on their farm, want to know how to fix them. And um, really that's what we do is we go out, identify those problems, try to determine what, um, what practices they can put in to help protect those problems. Um, my job specifically is to try to then find funding because as everybody knows the practices aren't cheap to build. So I work with those landowners to try to get funds available and, and work through the paperwork of, of that stuff of, of getting those dollars out to those landowners so then we can proceed and, and build that practice on their farm. Okay, I'm Joe Sellers and I'm a beef specialist for Iowa State University Extension. I cover about 17 counties in central and south central Iowa. Well, and Velvet works with a project that's with the Rathbun Watershed. And so the Rathbun Lake's a water source for a lot of southeast Iowa. And, and really protecting that lake is done a lot by keeping less sediment in the lake. So the practices she's working with producers are and better soil conservation, you know, certainly grazing management in her case, you know, with keeping the cattle and, some of the cattle out there and keeping it in grass is one of the way to do that. But also they've done a lot of projects with just uh, uh, terraces and impoundments and better management practices just to try to protect the lake. And that's really a focus of what she's done. And she's done a really good job working with the producers to do that. Well, I think she's obviously used a lot of the things she works with her clients on, like on her grazing management and on improving forages and good cattle management and trying to be a profitable and successful cattle operation. And she's in a farm area just like my area. And I, of course, in my case, we have a farm also not that far from here. And it's rougher ground, the ground that really needs some of it needs to be in grass and not all be in row crops. And so she's got a good combination farm just like a lot of people here do. Um, there's about 200 acres here. Um, it was originally my grandpa's farm. Um, he's passed away now and, and we were lucky enough to get to build a home here and take care of the cattle when his health got bad. Um, we've since sold his cattle. They were getting old as, as he was. So we've sold those and we're able to buy our own. Um, we just have a hay um, production, the, um, the hay to feed our cows, and then we just have about 40, 45 cows is about um, the amount of pasture that we have to be able to run um, just a commercial herd, nothing fancy. I wish they were, but they aren't, um, of, of um, cow-calf pairs. Um, they're fall calving cows, so they're calving right now, so they're having babies right now for the next couple months. So um, we enjoy it. It's kind of my hobby, I say. My husband loves to hunt and fish and golf, and. I like to take care of cows, so that's kind of our even trade. So, My name is Rebecca Vidito, and I am a field agronomist with Iowa State University Extension and Outreach, and I serve 10 counties in southeast, south central Iowa. I nominated Velvet for the Women Impacting Agriculture. Um, I started working for Extension like two years ago, and Velvet was one of the first people that um, I had the opportunity to meet, and she just really impressed me on what she was doing um, with her work with the Rathbun Lake watershed and then also what she does um, on her own family's farm too and how she balances both. It just amazed me what, what she was doing and the impact that she was having not only on her, on her farm here but also with landowners in the Rathbun Lake watershed. Um, they've been great experiences. Rebecca's um, nice enough to ask us to, to go and help so um, so happy to speak. Last time was on a water quality issue so just you know, explain water quality issues here in the lake and, and resources that are available. But um, there's new hog um, confinement that's coming to the area, so I had a lot of questions and concerns from, from the women landowners then. So I think it was a great opportunity. Um, and then also assisted with um, some grazing ones. And again, I just like to share the comment um, about how the change in your cattle's mindset, really, with the rotational grazing systems, how that changes and how they're so easy to work with versus um, chasing them on four-wheelers. Instead, you call them and they follow you. Um, you can't really chase them anymore because they don't know how to shoe, to be honest or not. So I think that's a thing that, that women would like to hear, to know that, okay, maybe I can raise cattle and, and not have to have the, the brute strength in order to take care of them. I guess I don't feel like I do anything any better than anybody else. Um, like Rebecca, for instance, 
um, our ex with our extension um, does a great job on nights and weekends and I guess uh, I mean that's that's the part of it that I like the most you kind of got to put your heart and soul into it and and there's a lot of women in our area that do that and um, I guess I'm just the lucky one that gets to be showcased today I enjoy it so I enjoy getting out there and anytime women can get involved I think it's important we're seeing that big trend of of women um, becoming owners of farms with us losing a spouse and getting older and not having the education and and knowing how to take care of their farm so I think there's a really big need to help educate those women and, and um, help them understand maybe what they can do or do better on their farm.